hello good morning all today in this video we are going to discuss regarding how to access value from settings in odoo so currently in the screen you are seeing our version 15 community edition where we are continuing our odoo 15 development tutorials so in this video what we will be discussing is about how to access the configuration that is configured value from settings and use it inside the code so if i go to the configuration menu here we have got settings for the hospital module where we have where we have the option to configure the cancellation days that is suppose if i book an appointment on 20th of april and if i set cancellation as 10 days i can cancel it before only 10 days that is if the appointment is scheduled on may 1st and if the cancellation is three days i can cancel on or before just three days that is if the appointment is on may 1 i can cancel on or before april 27 so let's see how we can access the value that we have entered in cancellation days inside the code of cancellation so here you can see we have an option to cancel the appointments so on clicking the cancel appointment we have to check whether it is inside the allowed range so let's see how we can do that so i'll go to the pie charm here we have the custom add-ons and if i go to the om hospital and to the models folder here we have the res config settings file where we have the option to where we have the option to enter the cancel days so this is the field that we have inside us config where we are entering the cancel days and we are saving it inside config parameter that is with key om hospital cancel day now if i go to the wizard where i have the cancellation option so here you can see this is the wizard where i'm canceling the appointment so what i have to do before canceling i have to check whether the appointment is inside the allowed range or whether we can cancel or not so let's see how we can access the value that we have configured inside rls config settings here so what i'll do is that in order to get from the settings so if you check here cancel days is stored inside config parameter that is along with field definition i have added config parameter equal to om hospital dot cancel day so this value will be stored inside ir config parameter so if i go to the ui so i'll click on discard and if i navigate to settings then to the technical and if I scroll down, you will see a menu called system parameters. So under the parameters, you can see we have got a menu called system parameters. And if you check the model name, it's IR config parameter. And if you search for cancel, here you can see OM hospital cancel day. And if I duplicate this tab, and if I go to hospital configuration settings, and if I change the day to three, and if i click on save the value will be getting updated here so if i refresh you can see the value will be updated here you can see the cancel day has been changed to three so we have to take value from ir config parameter so first of all you have to check the field from where you have to take the value and make sure that where it has been saved if it is in ir config parameter you can do as follows so if i search inside the odoo source code ir config parameter you can see a lot of sample yeah you have sample here so simply i'll copy this code copy and i will paste it inside the cancel appointment so i'll just paste it here and we have to use this key i'll copy the key for hospital cancel day so like this so self dot env so in order to get the value from settings you have to do as follows self dot env specify the model name so we have to get it from ir config parameter that's why self dot env ir config parameter then there is a function inside ir config parameter where we can pass the key so i'm using get param so this is the function where we can pass a key and it returns the corresponding value so i am using get param of ir config parameter and i am passing my key that is om hospital cancel day so i'll change the variable name to cancel day and if i print that cancel day if i print that 
let me see what value we have receiving inside this and i'll comment rest of the code simply i'll comment that and if i refresh and i'll go to the ui and i'll navigate to hospital appointment cancellation i'll select an appointment 36 and if i click on cancel appointment that function will be getting executed and you can see cancel day is getting as three so right now we have received the value three which we have configured inside settings now what we have to do we have to execute our logic that is what i have to do today i have to get today that is day dot today let me add some codes they go today and i'll import from date time from date time import date so simply i'm importing the date package from date time library then how they go today will give us today's date so if i print this today it will return today's date okay and let me restart and if you go to the ui and if you again trigger that function i'll select an appointment i'll click on cancel and here you can see we are getting today as 26 of april 2022 so we have received today's date now what we have to do we have to decrease that is we have to decrease the cancel day with today so i'll use relative delta function so we already have used relative delta function inside our module so if i search for relative delta we'll just copy this from date util we have importing from date util we are importing relative delta so what i will do is that date of today minus relative delta dot relative delta days equal to cancel days i'll change the variable to allow date and if I print this, you can see what happens. So if I go to the cancellation and if I select a appointment and if I click on cancel, you are receiving an error message. Cannot concatenate is tier to int. So I think let me pass it as integer. So I think we are retrieving the value of cancel day as int string so just i have changed to int so let me check whether it's okay now so i'll go to the ui and i'll click on cancel appointment again so we don't have error now so initially we have received error because to the relative delta we have to pass the value as integer so from this function we are returning or we are retrieving the days as string so in order to convert its type to integer i have used int of str so int of str will change the data type to integer so i have just passed int of days so we are receiving allowed date as 23 so actually we have to get instead of date dot today date dot today instead of date dot today we have to take the value from appointment selected appointment so here we have booking date now we have to take appointment time so i think appointment time sorry booking date we have to take suppose if we have to consider booking date i'll do like this self dot appointment id dot booking date in date and let's see what happens so i'll just restart again and let me go to the ui cancellation I'll click on select any appointment cancel appointment you can see you are receiving a value now what i'll do allow date i'll check if allow date we do today not sure the return condition is correct we will cross check again So allowed date suppose if i booked on let me take an appointment i'll go to the appointments and i'll do one thing where is where i'll create a new appointment so patient or roommates and i'll make the booking date as april sorry may 5 i'll click on save so we are 
we have made a booking on may 5 and the cancellation days is 3 so before may 2 i can cancel this so in allow date it will be may 3 yeah so i'll just instead of greater than i'll put less than i'll just restart and if i try to cancel the last appointment that is if i try to cancel op0013 let's see what happens if i try to cancel appointment number 39 cancel appointment there is no issue now i'll try to cancel or try to create a new appointment on 28 that is just two days after today today is 26 and i have made a booking on 28 and if i try to cancel this i'll go to cancellation and i'll select this appointment and if i try to cancel you can see cancellation is not allowed for this booking because it's on 28 the cancellation will be allowed only before three days that is you are allowed to cancel only before 25th now if i change the configuration to one instead of three i have changed my configuration to one and if i try to cancel the same appointment 40 there is no restriction because we have changed the cancellation days so i hope you understood how to access the value from settings that is we have to select like we have to get the value from settings like self.env ir config parameter dot get param then pass your key then it will retrieve the value that you have stored so and like this you can execute your logic so i hope you understood this video if you have any doubts feedbacks or suggestions don't hesitate to share with us over the email that is orumates at gmail.com and feel free to connect us in social medias like linkedin facebook twitter and instagram so that's it for the day have a nice day thank you